My name is Joanna, I'm 30 years old and I'm Portuguese. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia at age 17 after a year of consulting with several doctors. The diagnosis for me and my mother was a relief as we finally had the answer to my suffering. My family was very skeptical of fibromyalgia, especially because I was, I was young. They associated everything with laziness. But we were too young to have fibromyalgia, an expression I often heard to my age. I have heard on various occasions in school, family, hospitals, etc. For me, the top three daily challenges as a young person were discrimination in schools, hospitals and family members. A Pejov Portuguese Association of Young People with Fibromyalgia arose from the lack of support in the country. We work to raise awareness and educate patients. We promote workshops, lectures and even group meetings for better psychosocial development of the patient. Because with a disability in chronic disease, there is often a decline in this area. We work with people of all ages, but we try to focus on the educational part of young people. From my personal experience, I learned in the worst ways that schools are not inclusive for young people with fibromyalgia. In Portugal, Children and young people with visible health problem, problems are included in the special needs program. The children and young people who are diagnosed with diseases uh, such as fibromyalgia are not accepted in the system and due to attendance and performance problems due to their disease, schools do not interrupt these students. So a number of academic and psychological problem, problems arise. It is in our constitution that all children and young people the right of education. But what we do when schools refuse to help the students? These children and young people have dreams and goals. They intend to be active adults in society in the future, and for that we need more inclusive schools. Our organization can help by advising parents and teachers of the importance of inclusion and the existence of education that can support these students but they are always dependent on the acceptance of the school. At APEJOF, we enjoy working together with other national and international organizations. We believe that by sharing experience, opinions, backgrounds, we can evolve as an association, improve our work and help each other. For you, who are young and have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, be sure to dream no matter how dark things seem. You will see that you are stronger and more resilient than you think. Learn to respect and manage your body and be sure to have fun because you also deserve to do it. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Bye!